Hey everyone, welcome to student loan update for March and April, because I'm lazy and I didn't make one for March, which also should be an indication that March was a terrible month for uh, student loan progress. <laughs> which leads me to the topic of today's video, which is barriers of paying off your student loans. Those things that get in the way, those excuses. Well, excuses, we're not gonna talk about excuses. <laughs> Although that can be a barrier. Um, but three or four really big things that get in the way or can impede your progress of making student loan payments or paying off your loan quickly. I think there's a couple of big ones that maybe we don't always think about or we don't plan for. So I thought I would talk about those today because I experienced those these past few months. So the first one is unexpected payments, emergencies, and I'm going to say travel. Um, so I put in travel because we actually, me and Will ended up going to California in March. Was it March? Yeah, it was March. <laughs> Los Angeles for a quick uh, spring break adventure with the in-laws. Anyways, um, but me and Will actually ended up doing some traveling. It was mostly planned, but I didn't end up paying for the tickets until um, February, March is kind of last minute and it cost me $500. Um, so that is money that I probably typically would have put towards my student loan. Um, so that kind of didn't allow me to make an extra payment in March, which was unfortunate. So there's always going to be those unexpected payments of um, a medical emergency or your car broke down or you had a flat tire. You could need to loan your friend a couple hundred dollars for one of their emergencies. Um, you know, it's lots of different little things that you just really don't plan for. And while I do have an emergency savings, the, the flight wasn't something that I was willing to sacrifice that for. So I actually just paid for it out of pocket um, but that would that out of pocket money would would have typically gone to my loan so I, I just made a sacrifice there um, but unexpected payments emergencies that sort of thing usually end up getting in the way of making consistent loan payments or making extra payments number two so if you're trying to cut back if you're trying to make a budget you've got to you know you got to pick and choose what you want to cut back on and I think one of the things that I'm not willing to sacrifice and that I think is hard is if you have some sort of hobby that costs a certain amount of money. Um, so I like to take ballet classes and those are not cheap. Um, it's a expense that I continue to do because it's something that I like and something that makes me happy. But that's also, you know, a couple hundred dollars that could go towards a student loan. So you have to kind of pick and choose where you want to cut back. Um, so I definitely think that hobbies you know, it could be kayaking, it could be archery, I don't know, it could be sewing, you could buy a lot of sewing needles, I don't know what it is. You know, it could be nail polish. That hobby is gonna most likely be an expense, um, and so you just have to kind of pick and choose whether or not you're willing to sacrifice your hobby for the next couple of years until you pay off your loan, or if, it's that, or if that's something that you wanna continue to pursue and know it might just take you a little bit longer to pay off your loan. Number three socializing friends so if you want to pay off your student loan just get rid of all your friends and live under a rock for about three years and you'll be good it's hard to have a social life and budget um, I would say one of the easiest ways to cut back and to save money if you're trying to make extra student loan payments is to stop going out to eat stop buying snacks and Starbucks and all those types of things but you also want to go out to eat with your friends, you want to go have lunch, you want to go have brunch, you want to go to the movies, you want to do all these things. And so again, it's, you know, balancing that and saying, what am I willing to sacrifice and what am I willing to not sacrifice? Am I willing to take five years or 10 years to pay off my loan? Do I want to do it in two? So you just have to know what your boundaries are and, and kind of have those set. Um, I think I'm still kind of, I think I'm still working on that. Um, so, I think I still have my good months where I'm like, yep, we're sticking to the budget, like this is what we're doing. And then like in March, and a little bit of April, it was back to regular, going to Target, going out to dinner every weekend. And we just went to brunch this morning, which was lovely. Um, but, and we saw Avengers, we saw the Avengers movie. It was really good. Yeah, all those things cost money, and when you add them up, it can kind of make you feel bad 
and make you think like, oh, that money could have been spent somewhere else. But again, that's a sacrifice that I make um, and we'll try and get back on track uh, next month. So two little bonus barriers, although there's many, many things that get in the way of, of repaying any type of large amount of money, um, any large loan. Um, but two other things that I really think kind of get in the way are A, poor planning, which I'm just, I've been talking about this whole time. I haven't, I had a plan, but I didn't stick to it or I didn't set good enough boundaries to help me maintain and stay in this plan that I made to stay in my lane, my student loan lane. Um, but poor planning, definitely, that's me. Hello, hello, I'm a poor planner. Yeah, planning is hard. You can't plan for everything. Um, and I'm also not a robot. You know, I'm a human and I like to do things and I'm gonna make mistakes. So, you know, I would love, I would love, love, love to be one of those people that's like, I paid off my loan in two years, but I'm not willing to eat ramen noodles every day. So that's not gonna be me. Um, so poor planning, again, that's a barrier. The second barrier, which I'm very lucky that I don't that I don't have, but some people do, is having a partner or a spouse that isn't supportive of your maybe change in lifestyle and that isn't supportive of your attempts to pay off your student loan and the changes that you're making in order to accomplish that. Um, I'm really lucky in that Will doesn't like to spend money at all, so he's usually the one that's, it's, He's usually the one that's telling me like, why are you buying that? Why are we going out to eat again? Like, don't you want to pay off your loan? Don't you want to do these things in the future? And I'm like, oh yes, yes I do. Thank you. Um, so I'm really lucky, but not everyone has that support. Um, so having someone that isn't on the same page with you in terms of money management can make things really difficult. Um, but again, I'm lucky that that isn't an issue here. Usually I am the issue, I am the money spender. <sighs> I just like to shop, okay? I'm just... <sighs> so with that said, I think those are the really main big barriers to paying off your student loan quickly. You've got unexpected, unexpected cost, emergencies, or travel, and we've got those hobbies, and socialization and friends, you know? Who needs friends when you have YouTube? But really quickly, I did wanted to give y'all an official update on my student loan repayment progress. So I got below $49,000 and then it went back up because of interest, which is so frustrating. Interest is absolutely insane. I might, that might be next month's video. Um, so right now I'm at $50,000, $50,094, I believe. Let me pull it back up. Where are you? Oh no, it just logged me out. Um, I believe it's $50,094 and change. Um, and funny enough, in my payments are always due on a specific date, but for some reason, sometimes it takes a really long time to process. I made my payment on the due date. Normally I make it earlier, but in April, I made the payment on the exact due date. And for some reason, it like was processing for days. And then I got an email saying that I hadn't made my payment and that my payment was late, which freaked me out because I don't ever make payments late. I don't want to get fined extra. Um, so I freaked out, I just logged on, and I just made a whole nother payment. I like didn't even check, I just was, you know, just went and made the whole nother payment. After I was calmed down, I went back and looked at it, um, and it just still said processing. So it really wasn't my fault, they just took forever to process it. But now, I had made two payments for the month of April. Um, which I really wasn't intending because I was still kind of recovering from spending more in March. Um, so in the end, I actually did make an extra almost $500 payment um, this month in April, although I didn't intend to. And the only negative thing, which sounds good, but usually when I make an extra payment, I can specify where I want that money to go. So if I was gonna put an extra 500, I would put it only on the principal and I would put it towards the one loan that I'm trying to pay down before um, I start working on the other ones. Um, so the downside is I paid almost 500 extra, but it didn't go where I wanted it to go. Um, so that was kind of frustrating. I probably could have called them and had them fix it, but when, when it was all said and done, I just thought I would leave it. Um, and then I'll just, you know, pick up the pieces next month. 
Um, but that is my official update. We got below 49,000 and then it went back up because interest is insane that you can literally watch it go up day by day. It's very sad. This was gonna be a short video. It's probably not, but hopefully, um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. I will continue to keep you updated as much as possible on this student loan journey. Hope your student loan journey is going as good or credit card debt or whatever you got. It is a journey. It is a long one. Um, but one day we'll see the end. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my March slash April update. Um, hopefully I can knock some of these barriers out of the way in May and uh, make some good progress. But until then, I will see you guys next month. Bye. Which leads me to today's topic of today's, which leads me to today's topic of, which leads me to the topic which leads me to the topic of today's video, which is barriers that...